Dawes Rolls, also known as the final rolls of the citizens and freedmen of the five civilized tribes in Indian Territory. It was named after Henry Dawes, who headed the commission that oversaw the enrollment. The five civilized tribes are the Cherokee, which included the Delaware, the Choctaw, which included the ones who stayed in Mississippi, the Chickasaw, the Creek, and the Seminole. Between 1898 and 1907, 250,000 applications were taken, 101,000 or 40 percent were approved. 312 were added from the act of 1st of August 1914. Verification of the enrollee was done by either a payment roll or a census. For instance, the 1880 census of the Cherokee, which was used extensively. The commission tried to sign up everyone, but some did not apply. Enrollment was based on citizens by blood, freedmen who were former slaves and their descendants, minor citizens by blood and minor freedmen. These were born during the enrollment period. The age was calculated as of 4 March 1906. Newborn citizens by blood and newborn freedmen, the Act of 1905, the parents determined whether they would be enrolled and citizens by marriage. All other ages were calculated as of 1 September 1902. Each individual had their own number. They will be listed on a field or census card as shown with other family members who have a separate number. The census cards have a separate number at the right-hand corner. These will, the information will include the Dawes roll number, the name, the relationship to the head of the household, the age, sex, degree of blood, the parents' names, and the verification of their heritage. No person could be enrolled in two separate nations, although it will be noted on the bottom if they were descended from two different civilized tribes. On this, Mr. Hanna is shown on the degree of blood as IW, which meant he was intermarried, but he was white. His parents are shown, but they are indicated as non-citizens, whereas his wife, her parents are indicated as citizens of, of the Cherokee Nation. They were actually um, Delaware. The next thing to do is to look for the application. On this application for Wiley Hanna, we discover that he has been married twice and that each child that's shown on the field card as a, having a different mother, we discover that he, he has married the first wife who died and then he married the second wife. He had to bring his marriage certificates with him. After the enrollee was approved, he was issued a certificate which he took to the land office for his land allotment. Approved cards are found on the final rolls. Three types of cards are not. The doubtful cards, which are marked D, the rejected cards, which are marked R, and the canceled cards, which are marked C. Canceled cards are only found on the Chickasaw rolls. The, some of the reasons include the person was not born in Indian Territory, or they might have been born in Indian Territory, but they cannot verify their birth. They were considered U.S. citizens and therefore ineligible. If you're interested in looking at the Dawes rolls, we do have them on microfilm here, and they are online. If you're interested in discovering your Native American ancestry, please stop in at the Midwest Genealogy Center, and we will be able to help you. Thank you.